From my observation, this marriage can still work. It is possible. You can make it work. Seriously? No, sir, it's not possible. And why do you say so? Because we are not compatible. No, we are not. And why not, if I may ask? Because it is very clear that we are not compatible, sir. I don't love him anymore. But you once loved him. That was then, but not now. But how are you sure you can't love him again? Sir, I don't think it's possible anymore, sir. And why, if I may ask? It does not deserve my love. She's proud, she's full of herself, and she wants to admit. He's arrogant, bossy, he only thinks of himself. Anyway, I'm done with her. I want a divorce. Divorce? Yes, sir. It, yes, I want a divorce. We want a divorce. <sighs> no, my children. You don't need this. No, please. But, but why, sir? Why are you so concerned about us? It's our life and it's a free world. You don't know that God hates what you're about to do. I hate divorce. It was a dream. What's this dream all about? What is he talking about? God hates divorce? Hello. Hello, babe. So, what's up? Is your wife back now? I've been expecting your call. Oh, Pat, I'm sorry. She's not here back. I actually plan to delay our discussion till after dinner. But you won't believe she has not prepared anything for me to eat. She didn't cook anything. The kitchen is empty. I am tired of this lady. Wait, Kumbi, you mean you cannot go into the kitchen and fix something for yourself to eat until your wife arrives? Why are you suddenly acting like an African king? You do more than that for me when you were here with me in the States. Oh, that's why you had to run back to Africa. Naughty girl. You know I can do anything for my love. You know, right? 
but you left me for somebody in Africa. So where is the love now? Look, look, nothing changes. I know where my love is. But, you know, I have to just do anything to please my parents. I have to give them what they wanted. See, this whole wedding thing does not pass beyond Nigeria. I know where my love is, and I don't need you over here, babe. But I need you over there. Just trust me. Calm down. My plans are still intact. Do you understand? I love you. I love you too. I will call you in the evening. All right, I will call you back. She's back. Kule, I'm so sorry I came late. The woman did not come on time. And because I have to be at work tomorrow, I have to wait for her. I'm so sorry. Toy, what is your problem? You left the house without fixing anything for me. And you are exposing my baby to nonsense. What type of a local lady are you? I mean, you need to go back home and learn some home training. You started again, Kule. And I've warned you to stop sending me back home. <laughs> and what will you do if I send you back home? Because I won't stop sending you back home until you change. Until you become that wise woman you are supposed to be. The Bible says a wise woman should build her home. Tony, what exactly are you building? If you send me back home again, I will give it to you. <laughs> but I refuse to do so. Because of the respect I have for your parents. No, 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 no. Tony, go ahead and talk back at me. Useless girl without home training. What did you just say? I say, what did you just say? You heard me right. I'm better than you, brother. I'm better than you, son of Eli, who ruined his father's ministry for lack of home training and the fear of God. And what are you trying to say? No, complete your statement. Come, come back here. What is the meaning of what you say? Oh, Fini! Phineas! Bastard! I will teach you the lessons you're bringing to me. Be You mean, oh, Fulano? What is the meaning of what you say? Strong lady! Go inside now and pack all your belongings and leave this house right now. God will punish you. God will punish you. I will leave this house for you. I regret the day I married you. I will leave this house for Tony, you. Go and pack your things and leave this house right now. That is what she says every time. Any small thing. I am going. Nonsense. Get out of my house and get out of my life. Nonsense. In fact, I don't even need you again. I don't need your presence. You are irritating. What are you still doing inside? Get out of this place. Leave my house right now. I don't need you again in this life. Useless girl without home training. And they can manage their own shackle. Get out of my house. Useless. Nonsense. Are you even a man at all? Nonsense. I'm going. Get out of this place. Wait, wait, wait. Before you leave my baby for me. Give my baby. Give my baby. Give my baby. Give my baby. Give my baby for me. I will leave this house for you! Get out of this house! Get out! Don't spoil anything today! Get out! No, sir! Sorry, sorry, sorry! Hello, ma. How are you, Kunle? How is Tony too? Oh, to the Binu Lossi Lewa. I told you this girl is not fit to be a wife. Shake it, shake it, call me one bekule. I told you to stop saying this again. She's not matured, and yet she has a baby for you. Yes, she may not be perfect, but you two need to endure to behave like a matured husband. Your behavior does not depict a matured husband at all. <laughs> Mom, the beautiful baby she gave birth to, she left her behind. Thank God I've been able to put her to bed. Again? Huh? What kind of a mother will leave her baby behind without looking back? Something is definitely wrong with this lady. Can you see what I'm telling you, mom? <laughs> that girl is a useless girl. Ah, who is that? Ah, Tony! 
Tony, I'm done with that idiot. What? He loves and beats me mercilessly. Your husband? He's not born again, mom. He loves manners. <laughs> and he does not fear God. Not again! Not again! He slaps you and beats you and sends you back. <laughs> hey! Oh, yeah. Hey! What is going on? Why are you like this? What are you doing here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> My dear. My show, I want to be. Me, me, what you call an Umarara? I will show them that we are serving the same God. I can't take the humiliation any longer. I did not beg them to marry my daughter after all. Hey, hey, okay. No, 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 <laughs> My no, own daughter. no. You will not do such a thing. See, my dear, patience is what we need. Or else the whole world will make jest of us. My dear, patience, my foot. Patience, my foot. Ah, hey, hey. I cannot take it any longer. I don't care. I don't care whatever anybody will say. They are ministers of God, but they did not train their child to be a good husband. Oh, ah. oh, calm down, my dear. <laughs> calm down. I'm wanting you to stop all this. Everything will be settled in Jesus' name. Eh? Tony, where is your child? She's with his mother. <laughs> Can you see that, my dear? Can you see that idiot boy? One that shall never six. A pastor's son for that matter. <laughs> anyway, go inside. Everything will be settled, eh? Nibo! Rara, oh my dear, that is not how to do it. Ah. My dear, Ba wo na shenche. Ba wo na tu shenche. She efe ko mo, ko she efe ko pa mo fun mi ni. Eh? He he cannot kill my daughter. She ni o ki marry lo marry ni. Ah. Hey. People will wonder and question if actually we really trained this girl to be a good wife. Ah. For whatsoever reason, it's supposed not to do that. A good and sensible mother cannot do that and will never do that. No, Dad. He collected the child from my hand too. And pushed me out of the, of the house. Hmm. He has been lying against me before his mother. <laughs> Can you hear that, my dear? This boy cannot kill my daughter in Jesus' name. This is the second time he will send Tony out of his house. Ah, Tony is going nowhere. Ah, she is going nowhere until this boy realizes what he has done and come here to apologize. <laughs> Hey, hey, my dear, apologize. Hey, hey Tony, hmm. you better go back to your husband if you still need that home. Ah, my dear, let this girl go back to her home. Hey, in your court, hello, my wife. Hey, enough of that, my dear. Ah, uh -uh. Tony is going nowhere for now. They failed in their responsibilities. Can a sensible man drive away his, uh, his wife and send his child to his own mother? Uh -uh. We have respected them enough. If he actually loves her, he will, he, will, he will come here to look for her. He can't try that in Britain. He will have been locked up by now. That is why he could not marry there. <laughs> you are saying, hey, you are saying, hey, I'm going nowhere. Hey. I can't my kill dear, my daughter. My dear. I will not allow the idiot to kill you. This is... This Let is. this girl go back to her home. Uh. Hmm. Oh, you are welcome. <laughs> thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. How are you? Yeah, welcome to the house. Eh? We are fine. We are fine. Ah, the daddy is oh, fine. Sorry. The daddy is beautiful. We thank God. Anika, I you. Oh, you are. Ah, it's my brother. Your brother is doing fine. Really taking care of you. Oh, oh mommy, welcome, ma. <laughs> Toy, how are you? I'm very fine. How's your husband? He's fine. And your baby? She's doing well. Hey, ma. Well, God bless you. Amen, ma. Ah. Thank you so much, ma. Mm -hmm. Well, ah. How is my brother? Your brother is very ah, fine. Oh, you look good again. Thank God. I all I in you. All I say, are you hearing from them? Yes, they are all fine. Ah, they are all fine. Hey, and God the wife. is good. Yes. Ah, they are all fine. Thank you, my ah, dear. Thank you. We thank God for everything. God bless you. Ah, and how is ah, everybody? We are doing fine. Thank you very much. God bless you, my dear. <laughs> okay. Okay. We are worried. We thank God, though. Ah, long time. Sister, hmm? what are you doing here? Oh. I I thought to have settled your matter. Ah, <laughs> it's not yet settled. Ah. It's not yet settled at all. We are still on it. 
The boy is not well trained at all. <gasps> ah, and because of what Ogba, he didn't follow the step of his father at all. Jeez. Ah, it was a great mistake on my side. I never knew such a thing could happen to me at all. And you see, my husband warned me. He warned me, but I thought I was doing the right thing. This is the second time he would send my daughter out of his house. Ah, that useless boy. Ah. But what is going on? What about the baby? Ah, the baby is with his mother. Eh? And you really worry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the baby is with his mother. But why all this, sister? I thought you are both family friends. And even his mother is your close friend. Is it not your pastor's wife? Hey, Marie, yes, sir. I shake back Bob, Baba, Boma, Larara. It be too well, Lati Beregani. That's the source of our problem. Jesus. Hmm. But I don't understand. Hmm. Could you hear me? My sister, it happened some time ago. The women leader asked all the women to wait for a brief meeting after the church service. And we waited. The pastor, Mrs. came in and addressed us briefly. And she left. Okay. Not long after that, she sent for me to come and see her in her office. And I went there to go and see her. Hmm. My sister. Hey. Our uh, mother in Israel, you sent for me. Yes. Uh, but the women are waiting for you. We thought you are coming back when you said we should excuse you. You know, I've actually told the women leader to round up the meeting oh. because I wanted to see you. Oh. You know, the men will soon finish their meeting and your husband can leave at any time. Exactly. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah, but what could be so important that makes you end up the meeting suddenly? Mama Bani, you know we are best friends. Mm. And we have been coming together a long time. Mm. Your family has been a great blessing to my family. And that is what makes me to think that maybe God wants to take our friendship to another level. Another level? I don't understand. Can you please explain? Okay, I will explain. But how is Toyin, your daughter? She told me she has finished her service here. Uh, yes, uh, she's at home. She's doing well, we thank God. She's even planning to go back for her masters. Very good. Tony is actually a serious lady. You know, Kuleto is coming back home. Mm. Yes, he's coming back home in a month's time. Ah. He has completed his master's too. That's wonderful. But you told me that she'll be staying back in Britain to, you know, for further studies. My sister, that is our concern. Wow. We don't want Kule to settle down there. He's not getting any younger. Mm. Now he has started talking about a lady we know nothing about. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we need to act very fast mm -hmm. now that he has agreed to come back home. We need to do something and that is why I'm saying maybe God wants us to take our friendship to another level. So, what has that got to do with the matter on ground? <laughs> A lot, my sister. That is why I'm saying we need to come together to become one big family. You know, we've been praying for their marital lives. How good will it be for the two of them to come together as husband and wife? I mean, Kule and Toyin. Ah, sister. Hmm. Kule is not a small boy. Do you think it will be easy to force someone on him? Huh? The guy is well exposed. I don't think that can be possible. My sister, there is nothing impossible with God, except you are not interested. You know, there are many marriageable sisters in the church that I can approach. It's just because we are best friends and we have been coming together a long time. You know what I mean? Mm, yes, I understand. Uh, but can we, you know, can we pray? Can we pray concerning this matter? At least to know the mind of God, as you have taught us. Are you saying I'm walking in the flesh? No, 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 not at all. But anyway, I... anyway, I understand what you mean. You know, the Bible also says in Psalm 21, verse 2, that thou hast granted him his heart desires 
and at not withholding the request of his lips, except you are not interested. God is mindful of his children's desires. I need a woman that will help my son spiritually. He needs a wife that will fire him up spiritually. And I believe your daughter Tony is up to the task. And you think Kunle will accept this arrangement? Of course he will. He is my son. Hmm. He must obey me. Uh, but what about Pastor? <laughs> of course, you know I can't be discussing this without my husband's consent. Uh, he knows about it. Hmm. Okay, but maybe you have to give me time to talk with my husband and then to him. Definitely, I will get back to you. Okay. I will get back to you. It is. Hmm. Ah, and that was it. The rest is now history. I'm licking my wound now. Because the marriage did not work for a day. Tony did not enjoy the marriage mm -hmm. at all. <sighs> Just for a single day. The boy has no respect for anybody. See what I have done to my own daughter. Can you see my life? The boy has no fear of God at all. Neither did he follow the step of his parents. Oh. Ah, I pray that God will have mercy on me and forgive me. Ah, mom, it It was a very terrible mistake on my part. Oh. Ah, it was indeed a costly mistake. Ah. But how's the situation now? Ah, it was a painful situation, my sister. The boy has completely changed from the person we know him to be. He has no fear of God. He has no respect for anybody. I can't imagine my daughter passing through such a terrible situation. Even it has affected the relationship between me and his mother. Because the mother cannot even talk to him. He sends to him packing from the house at any flimsy excuse and threatens several times to divorce her. In fact, he sees nothing bad in divorce. You see what I've done to my daughter. Oh, oh God. Oh, That's all right. The Lord is in charge. Eh? The Lord will intervene. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Ah, God. Ah, my dear, come, 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 welcome. Please come and meet our visitors. Okay. <laughs> oh, how are you? You are welcome. Thank you're you. Welcome. How was Mama Bind? She's okay, she's okay, she's fine. You are welcome. Do I know you at all? It's like Duma. Mm. My name is Kola, and she is being here. A friend of ours invited us to your program, the Glorious Couples program, some time ago. And that here welcomed us personally that day. <laughs> ah, that's lovely. You are welcome. I think your husband and wife, I suppose. No, ma. Not really. We have been separated for more than three months now, waiting to be divorced. Divorced again? God have mercy. So why are you here? Our parents sent us here, ma, because they are not happy about our decision. Yes, they advised us to see you for counselling. Really? And God is not happy about what we're about to do? Because he hates divorce. Hmm? Wait, wait, my dear. That statement you made reminded me of that dream I had. Remember the dream I had? Which dream? The dream you forgotten. Oh, oh, yes. We are one elderly man was advising a couple against divorce. Ah, God is great. Did you hear that? Hi. God knew that you'll be coming like, on a day like this. That was why he showed me that dream. To warn you ahead. You know, and I'm also pleading on God's behalf. Now, don't take that satanic decision. Please don't divorce each other. Sir, I never planned on this for my marital life. But the situation is becoming unbearable for me. She's never at home. She does not have my time. And her career takes a better part of her life. 
Will be okay? Yes, ma'am. So what can you say to that? <laughs> well, I'm okay with whatever he feels like doing. He has been complaining about my job, which I'm not ready to let go. <laughs> Since he's not ready to endure, it simply means we are not compatible. Hmm? Period. Because of your job? Hey, Jesus Christ. Sir, ma, he's just pretending. He has divorced me before now in his heart. You started it. You separated yourself from me. You cause me pain any time you take your career above your home. Um, I want to ask you both. Have you, are you born again? Have you given your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, ma'am. We are both serving as workers in a local church mm -hmm. before she was transferred to another city. So, I suggest you go back to God because God is still interested in your life and in your home. Yes, that was the point we were before you came in. But none of them was ready to submit you know, and follow what the Bible says. They have all they've made up their mind to go their different ways. I didn't want to say this before, but I think it's necessary. Since it's like you are blaming me for everything, this man is having an extramarital affair with someone in the church. Hey, Jesus. I mean, in the house of God. <sighs> Sir, Ma, that's another Hoffman and Finney has sitting before you. <sighs> not once, not twice. But you always denied it. Once I called them together in our matrimonial <sighs> bed, oh. when I came back from work unexpectedly. Hey? Really? Brother, hmm. is it true? You are cheating on your wife? I may not be able to explain everything. Ah. But it was an attack from the pit of hell. The lady was sent to seduce me. Moreover, my wife's concern upstairs causes it. Shut up your mouth! Ah. My dear, what is going on in the church of God? No wonder you are now seeking for divorce to cover up your sin. Ah on your matrimonial bed. May God have mercy on you. But well, the lady in question knew my wife was not always around and the snake came in to bite. Definitely she was an agent of the devil. My, in fact, she came to defile me. Who? Another lie. <laughs> ah! That is what they surely say. After they have satisfied their, their lustful desire. Mm -hmm. Who defiled who? <sighs> was it on her bed or on your own matrimonial bed? Mm. Eh? Ah! Let me tell you. You fell not because your wife was not around. Hmm. It was because the spirit is in you. Hmm. You have that spirit, lustful spirit. It's right inside of you. And let me tell you, marriage cannot cure fornication or adultery except you are delivered. Hmm. And you ask God for mercy. Oh, God has forgiven me. I need to fill up the vacuum that she has created in my heart by a woman that is prepared. I don't want to endanger my life again and I need a woman that is willing to help me. Sexual intimacy is one of the reasons for marriage. Moreover, the Bible says that we should marry and not born. I need a woman that can satisfy my emotions as well as my desires. She is not ready to leave her job and I cannot leave her because of the assignments I have to do here. I need to sort out myself and get another woman. I need to divorce her. The lady in question is one of our elders' daughters. <laughs> in fact, as I'm speaking with you right now, the parents know nothing about it. Ah. Can you imagine a worker in the church messing around the lives of innocent girls? Oh, Jesus Christ. Huh? You did that abominable thing. And you have not confessed to the church to help you beg God to forgive you. Huh? Brother, they have not done very well at all. Ah, what you did is very bad. Oh. Eh? You want to destroy the life and future of that innocent girl? Innocent girls. Ah, divorce is not the solution to the problem you have. So, but you need to change. My dear, say what you want to say. And get this man out of my house. And what has Christ done in your life? If I don't put your thing in check. Huh? You need to go back to God for mercy and forgiveness. And make sure you go to your pastor and see the parents of that girl for forgiveness. May the Lord have mercy on you. Wait, 
Now let me pray with you now. Don't worry, sir. We'll sort it out. Thank you. <sighs> Dear. What have you just done? Like what? You threw those couple out in anger. Is there anything bad in that? It's not good enough. It's not good enough. Is that why you're hungry? I'm not happy at all. I'm not happy. But he admitted everything the wife said he did to those innocent girls in the church. He could not say anything. He was just looking. My dear, I can't condone such people around me. But maybe that's why God sent people, send them to us. They need, they need help. Help? Ah, oh, they don't need them. Somebody who is ready to divorce his wife to cover up his sin. My dear, he knew what he was doing. He needed to be seriously disciplined. But that is why he has not yet divorced his wife. He could still change his decision. That was maybe that's why the parents sent them to us for proper counseling and prayers. Maybe through proper counseling and prayer, they could still change their decision. But he needs to sort himself out before God and his pastor. We are not his pastor, my dear. He has done a lot of things before God. A worker in the church for that matter. Dear, what is the church of God turning to? And can you imagine? The, the, the parent of those girls knew nothing about this thing. My dear, that man needs to be jailed. Ah, no, please excuse me, Daddy. I want to, I want to relax. I want to rest. Look, actually, he has done terrible things. But we still need to pray for him. You know, cases like this need a lot of wisdom. I can still remember my dream vividly. Ah, maybe God is sending these people to us so that we can help them. Oh, pray. Pray for that useless brother. A believer. A, a, a worker in the church. Who cannot control himself. When the time the wife will be around. Eh? Ah, that brother still needs to deal with the works of the flesh. Today. You didn't tell me you are coming. How's daddy? Have your sister. Harley's. Ma, is that the way to do ministry? Ah. We are trying. The Lord is helping us. And the ministry is, I mean, is going home fine. You have not answered my question, Mommy Tife. We are trying, Mommy. The ministry is going on well. And the Lord is helping us. I'm not talking about your husband. God gave you this ministry and your husband supported you. He's really trying. He's a peaceful man, very supportive. Because your husband is a man of the spirit. He works in the spirit. He loves and fears the Lord. Oh, we thank God, Mama Latunde. I really thank God for his life. <laughs> but you, it is important to know that you can only succeed in this ministry if you submit yourself to God's way. Because God is not a man, but a spirit. You are not sleeping. Yes, I couldn't sleep. I had this serious burden, so I didn't, I didn't want to disturb you so I, in the room. So I left the room to come and pray here. But I'm okay now. Can we go and sleep? 
I had a dream. Huh? You see, in that dream, I saw that woman I met in Abuja, Mumi oh, okay, okay. She was asking me if that is if that is the way to do ministry. Hmm. She said, she said, if I want to succeed in the ministry, I can only walk in the way of God because God is a spirit. Hmm. Does, does that mean I'm not walking in the spirit? Hmm. You know, she looked so sad. She was not happy with me at all. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It was God that was speaking to you. Hmm? Not Mrs. Olatunde. The Holy Spirit just used her image because of the role she has played in your life ministerially. Hmm. Hmm. My dear, what happened yesterday really gripped the Holy Spirit. How? Hmm. We, we concluded the matter of the couple so fast without even asking the mind of God or even the God's opinion about it. We concluded the case so fast. You judged the man so fast. Uh, is that? But the man was wrong. He messed up seriously. Yes, you are right. And to cover his sins, he opted for divorce. Exactly. Can you imagine that? Mm, yeah. But I believe God directed that man and his wife to us to prevent them from doing what they wanted to do. God hates divorce. You know, God has beautiful plan for marriage. But Satan always wants to hinder it and to prevent that plan from coming to pass. The Lord sent those couple to us to show them how much he loves them and to show that he has beautiful plans for them which they are not even aware of. But we allowed what we had and saw to influence our own judgment. You know, and they eventually left us to do what God said he publicly hates. That is divorce. And that's what they opted to go and do. Ah. No. My God. Ah. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. Please forgive me. I, I was not patient enough. Dear, hmm? what are we going to do now? We need to look for that man. We need to look for them and stop them from taking that action. Only God can stop them. What the Holy Spirit is laying on my heart is that we should just commit them unto the hands of the Lord. Jesus. But before we can do that, let's first of all ask God to have mercy on us and forgive us for what we've done. Because the way they left, the man left angrily. Hey. In fact, when I said let us pray, he didn't even wait to pray. Oh, he did that. Ah, Jesus, forgive me. I'm sorry for my behavior, Lord. So don't worry, my dear. God will have mercy. Amen. He will reveal his mind to those couple and he will give them a new heart. Both of them will become mighty vessels in the hand of the Lord. Let us pray. Yeah. Ah, Lord, please have mercy on us, Lord. Yeah. Forgive us for all the errors we have committed. Yeah. We have to forgive us of our love. Thanks for coming, Mommy Baini. Hmm. And how is that day? It's fine, it's okay. Thank you for coming. It's okay. Only that the issue of doing and that good for nothing husband is giving us serious burden. Okay. Yes. My husband is not happy. You mean the matter has not been settled? Why? Mm -hmm. Settled. Okay. He said Tony should come and apologize before he will allow her home. You can see that useless boy that lacks home training. Calling short. Ah! Hey! <laughs> I don't know what the world is turning into. Or let me say what the church is becoming. Ah! A child of a minister of God. Behaving like a hooligan. Ah! London carry like What's in Lame one? Hey! Abby, who dare tries that in Britain? Who dares? Nonsense. If you see how he's, he's just he's just behaving like, like as if somebody that lacks home training. Ah, the parents have failed in their duty. They, are, they have already failed. Ah! Hey! Mommy, Bunny, please, can I give you cold water? The weather is very hot. Did I tell you I'm thirsty? I've just been talking and none of you respond to my, you know, to, to, to what I've been saying. Don't you have anything to say to this case? I'm not happy, what, I'm, I'm not happy about what is happening to my daughter. 
Ah! I just hope this will not lead to a divorce. Ah! Because Tony will not go back to that fool to apologize. It is not possible. Or what do you or what do you what, what, what do you think? Is, is anything wrong with both of you? I'm here to share my burden with you. And both of you, you get quiet. Why? Um, my, my sister, can, can we pray about this matter? Prayer? Yes. Prayer? What has prayer got to do with what is on ground? This boy was born into prayer. He just chose to be like the sons of Eli. Ah. Hey. Ah. Since both of you have nothing to say concerning this matter, I would rather take my leave. Brother, oh, God bless oh, you. Me, Where are you going? Eh? What is wrong with you? Your mother said we should pray about it. You said there's no need for prayer. Is there anything impossible for God? God can still have mercy despite your mistakes of the past. So you need to calm down if you are in need of God's intervention on this matter. You see, I was once like you before God dealt with me seriously. If one is not patient to know the mind of God in a matter like this, things will spoil beyond remedy. And you will offend God. You think I don't care? You know, Tony is my blood. God has been using them for people who are not even related or who are not even our blood. But you see, this matter is beyond what human beings can handle. We have to take it to God. You see, if a vehicle has a fault, we have to take it to the mechanic because that is his own specialization. God is the author of marriage. And if anything goes wrong, we should take it to him. He can handle it and he can repair whatever has gone wrong. I pushed my daughter into this mess, my mm. brother. Are you sure God can still do something? Despite my act of foolishness and disobedience. Ha! Ah, I'm even ashamed to face God. Mommy ah. by me. God is a merciful God. Yes. And he can still forgive and make things better again. Okay. Yes. God allowed you to have your way. He allowed the wedding to take place because he knew a day like this is going to happen when his attention will be needed. God does not want anyone to take his glory. But the Bible says, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Ah, my sister. The righteous can pray for mercy mm. and God can correct the foundation mm. no matter how faulty or bad or rotten the foundation can be. Mm. Look at the Samaritan woman. God gave her a new foundation. You see, the plan of God for that marriage can see stand mm. if we all stand on the Lord's side. Father, have mercy on me. I have intruded into your plans. I have tampered with your glory. I'm very sorry, Lord. Please forgive and correct the terrible foundation I've laid for my daughter. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> if you can do something, Father, please help me. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Have mercy on me. <laughs> That's a God, my sister. Thank God for your experience because it will help you to be conscious of his presence as you counsel people and in your ministerial life. We have not been able to connect since then, though we tried, but with no response from them. And you know, it, it, this thing has been giving me serious guilt, especially when I remember the the way I treated them. The deliverance of the couple is not in your hands. In this ministry of home or marriage, there is little you can do without God's intervention on each matter. That is why we must constantly walk in the spirit to know the mind of God. Because every home is God's responsibility. 
we must always point their attention to God. I'm just thinking about them because we've not heard from them since they left here. <laughs> or since you drove them out of your house. <laughs> Don't say that again. <laughs> Don't worry. And you must forgive yourself because we are all learning every day. But didn't you say you are praying for them? Yes, ma'am. We have not stopped praying for them since then. For God to please save the marriage. And God will answer the prayer. Amen. That is the best you can do for them. My husband says so too. Thank you very much, ma. You know, I miss you so much. <laughs> when are you coming to our side? Can we invite you for this coming family program? We can arrange with our pastor. Please pray about it. I mean, you and daddy, you and your husband. We pray about it. I would like to see your beautiful face again. My regards to your husband. Thank you. My regards to daddy too. Bye. God bless you. Bye. Mom. Mom. How are you, Kunde? Fine. You sent for me. Hope there is no problem. Tony is not yet back. Is that not enough problem? <sighs> what kind of life is this? What is wrong with these children of these days? Why would she always run back home after every disagreement and conflict with her husband? Okay, you said you have gone to see her parents. Yes, ma'am. What did they say? Mom. I told you before you introduced this girl to me. She is not yet a wife material. She does not have any quality of a good housewife. This is the third time she will be going to her parents, leaving the child for us. But I actually heard that the first time it happened, she didn't go to her parents' place. She was with a friend. Can you imagine that? What if you were not in the city? Mom, I am done with this lady. I don't need her again. I am done. I swear to God, if this lady doesn't come back to this home, I am done with her. I don't need her again. Shut up! Kule. Shut up! Nonsense! See, see who is talking? Will she run for you if you had shown her love and behave like a matured husband? What about love and understanding, which is an essential ingredient in marriage? Exactly, mom. I don't love her because you didn't give me the chance to know her. You rushed me into this marriage without me knowing who I married. Mom, I don't know who Toyin is. I don't know her. Hello? Yeah, I will call you back, babe. Relax, relax. Yeah, I love you. Oh, you could complete that statement. Who is that baby that you love? Uh, uh, Mom, is it bad to love someone or... Is it wrong to love someone with the love of God? Kule, who is she? She's a friend in London. But she's a lady. <sighs> Mom, what are you insinuating? Are you saying that it is wrong for me to have female friends? I've been away for the past three years. Before you dragged me into marrying this mess of a lady. You don't expect me to be there all alone without a friend. Does your friends in London, especially female, know that you are married? Mom. Let's drop this discussion and listen to me. I don't know who Tony is. You forced that on me. You don't know who Tony is? Your childhood mate in this church? You don't know Tony? After having a child, a beautiful baby girl for you? Ah, Kule. Why are you doing this? You know who your dad is in the society and among the ministers of God. Don't give room to the devil. Don't put us to shame. Mom, mom, I don't care what the devil is doing. Every time, devil, devil, devil. I will not be frightened by all this religious nonsense. Mom, I am an adult and I know what is good for me. I don't want this lady anymore. I am done with her. You lie, Kule. You can't do what you like because you are not like others. Mom, mom, listen. I understand your fear and I know you are speaking for dad but I will not bow to your religious bigotry this time around. I am an adult mom and I don't care what the church or anyone has to say concerning this matter. I have my life to live 
And mom, listen. I am giving this lady two days. If she doesn't return back to the house, I am going for a divorce. And I swear there is nothing anyone can do to stop me this time. Mom, I am done with her. Have a nice day, mom. Kule! Kule! Ah! What is the meaning of all this? Tony! Who will believe that this girl is so useless like this? And to, to, to them now, Kule is a problem. How will a woman leave her baby without looking back? And her mother will not believe all this about her. Ah! Lord have mercy. <sighs> Even this boy is not clean. I'm beginning to doubt his faith. Lord Jesus, please expose every secret thing. They don't know you. He spends his time talking with this lady outside the country. Why did you come back? What is your problem? I thought you said it is over between us. Why did you come back into my life? We must rise up and reject that spirit of divorce because it is coming close. But it must not happen in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, mommy. <laughs> Please come quickly. Kule is dying. Please come. <laughs> They say it's not possible They try and try to rearrange and interpret So it's permissible So it is permissible Some people say that Life according to the Bible is not possible They say it's not possible They try and try to rearrange and interpret So it's permissible hey, But you see the scripture you see the scripture It is written by inspiration of God And it is needed For correction For reproof and direction and instruction In righteousness and holiness That the man of God may be complete Totally equipped unto every good work Totally equipped Done to every good work, yeah. 